Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In this video, we are going to build a 10 gigabit OpenWRT routine test lab with some of the Melanus Connects adapter. So recently, I have spent some time reading over the internet and the OpenWRT forum for a 10 gigabit routing setup. And fortunately, I found this post and the sharing from Super Sepo. So he mentioned about the Mela Connects X3, the Intel's X 520s and the Intel X710. So after some time spending on the internet regarding the rival and compatibility, I decided to go with the Melanus Connects X3 because the rival is ready with OpenWRT 21 and I just need to install the packet to enable the rival and the support of the device. In the post, he also shared that the OCP form factor is cheaper compared to the PCIe form factors and in this it is true. So I end up portraying trees, Mela Connects X3 Ethernet adapter. So this is how it looks like. This is our Melanus Connects X3 SFP Plus network adapter. And this will be in OCP form. So let me just remove the adapter and Yes, this is the Melanus Connects X3 in OCP form. And after that, it is connected to the OCP to PCIe adapter. So it will be end up connected like this. All right, so this one is way cheaper compared to the Melanus Connects X3 in the PCIe form factor. So right here we have an SFP plus port. This one is 10 Gbps. And here I have another adapter, just the same model, but it have two SFP plus port. All right. So this one will be used for the OpenWRT routers. And this adapter will be for my PCs and my test server. In order to connect the adapter together, I use a DAC cable from Melanox as well. As you can see, this one is a DAC, which means direct attack cable, and it is made from copper. Beside DAC, we have AOC and fiber cable. The reason I don't use a fiber cable to connect this module because it is quite expensive. This module is one git. SFP module and as you can see in order to connect this SFP module we will need the module and then we will have the fiber cable and in the other end we will need also another SFP modules and it's quite expensive so I decided to give up fiber cables and end up go with the DAC cable so that's all about the network adapters and the DAC cable. Now we will move on with the PC with the hardware that I've been using for the test. Before we move on, let's have a check at the network diagram that we will be using for the test. This one is a Dell Optiplex 7010 and it's running by the Intel Core i5 processor with 16GB of RAM. So it should have enough space to run all kind of server in it. So I will be running the iPod 3 servers and the open speed test server. A single SFP plus network adapter will be installed on this computer. In the center, we have an x86 OpenWRT computer. This one is powered by the Intel Xeon A3 1230V2. It has four core and eight threads with 16 gigabyte of RAM. So it should be enough to handle all kind of routing and firewall. The Melanex Connects X3 network adapter with two SFP plus ports will be installed on this OpenWRT router. And finally, on my test PC, I will be installing one Melanex Connects X3, a single SFP plus port on it. All right, so let's get started with the hardware installation. This is the LXFF7010 and as you can see it had two PCIe slots. The blue colors is an X16 and the black one is X4. 
So let's insert our network adapter to the existing slot. This is the Melanus Connect X3 single XFP Plus port and it will be insert to the existing network adapter. For the test, unfortunately, the network adapter I received from the supplier have some problem. And for this single SFP plus port, it was detected at X1 only. So there is a speed cap of 6 GBPS. So we don't have any alternative replacement. So I will just go with it. So this one will be the Intel Xeon OpenRT router that will be using for the test. And let's insert the SFP plus network adapter to it. The network adapter had been installed on the OpenWRT computers. So as you can see, it had two SFP Plus port. And for this setup, one of the ports will be the LAN port. And the other ports will be the one port. So right here, I have also installed another one gigabit Ethernet adapter because this one is a real text one. And the rival is pre-installed with OpenWRT so I can use it to set up the internet connection and install some package. First of all, let's connect the SFP cable to the Dell XFF. The other SFP plus port will be the LAN port and it will be connecting the OpenWRT routers and my test PC. As you can see, the Melanus Connect X3 were connected to the PCIe X16 slots as well. I will also connect my X86 OpenWRT router to the internet via an RJ45 network cable to have a working internet connection in order to install the required packages. This is my test device, a client device and it is running Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. So on the network adapter, the Melanus Connect X3 were automatically detected and the driver were pre-installed by Ubuntu. All you need to do is run APT update and APT upgrades and the system will handle the driver for you. So it is up and running but no cable connected All right so we will need to use open chrome and then go to download.openwrt.org to download our firmware stable release x86 64 bit and then generics and then download the generics ext for combined images if you want to use EFI boot, you need to download the EFI versions, but for me, by art will be enough. The OpenWRT firmware has been successfully downloaded to the computers, and if you are using Windows, you can use RuFox application to write the firmware to your USB drive. If you are using Ubuntu like me, you can try to open with archive managers and extract it here. All right, so let's try to extract it here. An error occur. Never mind, let's try with the terminal. So let's go to CD, download, and then L add. So G, on GIF, and then open the WRT, hit enter. The connection OK, it trying to read it all. All right, so where is the file? And right here we have our IMG's firmware. Let's insert the USB to the computer. Alright, so I will run LSBLK to list the block information. And this is our USB, right? It is 4 GB of space. So it is SDB. Alright, so we're going to use the sudo command to write the forward to the right. So sudo dd and then 
if equal to open wrt forward and then the designation will be of equal to slash dvs and then sd s d b and hit enter If this is your first time installing OpenWRT on the PC, I would suggest using Windows because we can use root first application and we can directly write the firmware to the USB right without this complicated command. But anyway, the firmware had been written to the USB right and let's insert the USB right to our x86 computers and boot up the system. Let's connect the USB right to the x86 OpenWRT computer and power it on. Alright, looks like it's ready and let me press enter. So let's run PAS WD to set the password. Alright, so if I run IP link, there should be only one Ethernet adapter up and running, which is Ethernet 0. And first of all, I will need to configure my Ethernet 0 at an one interface in order to get a network connection and install the rival for the MLS Connects X3. So I will run VETC slash config slash network to modify the network file. Press the I key on the keyboard to switch to the insert mode. With the default configuration, Ethernet 0 will configure as my LAN devices. So I will remove it. Okay, so let's add a new line all right so it will be config interface one and then options device ethernet zero and then options Proto GHCP and I think this should be enough so we can skip the one six for now and press the EXC keys and then colon WQ to write and quick let's run service network restart Alright, link it down and link become ready, which is a good thing. So let's run IF config one more time. So we can see that the Ethernet 0 is up and running. This is our one interface. So let's try to ping google.com to see if DNS is working fine. Perfect. So now we can run OPKG update. And just to show you the Ethernet Zero is this network adapter, all right? All right, so now let's run OPKG install kmod mlx 4.call to install the rival for the Melanus Connect X3. And perfect, we can see that the KMOD loader had reload the kernel module and the Melanus Connect X3 Ethernet adapter is up and running. 
So Ethernet 1 and Ethernet 2 is now up and running. So let's run IF config one more time. We can see that IF config show only Ethernet 0 because we have yet to config the network interfaces. So let's run IP link. And in this one, we have two interface Ethernet 1, Ethernet 2. Right. So the Melanus Connect X3 on our x86 computers have two network ports and we don't know which one is the LAN port or which one is the one port. So let's try to remove the network cable from our upstream PC or from the Dell XF app which is our one interface and by right we should see that port go down. So once I remove the cable from the Dell XFF or my one side, Ethernet 1 is down. So I know that Ethernet 2 is my LAN interface. All right. So that's fine. Let's go to V slash ETC slash config and then slash network. So let's press the I key to switch to the insert mode. And then on the BR LAN, the Ethernet will be Ethernet 2. Alright, so BR LAN will be Ethernet 2 and our one interface it will be Ethernet 1. Alright, so that's it. Let's press the EXE keys and then colon right quick to right and quick. Alright, so serve it. Network restart. And our interfaces will be up and running. Let's go to the wire settings on the computers. And on the MailNet Connect, we should see the interface up and running. Click on this settings, and we can see that we have received an IP address from our x86 OpenWRT router. Let's go to 192.168.1.1 and log into our x86 OpenWRT routers. All right, so OpenWRT is running on the Intel Xeon A3 1230V2 with 16 gigs of RAM. So let's go to network interfaces and have a check. On the DSCP client for the one interface, we can see that it's still down because we have yet to connect the one port to the Dell XF app computers and let's do this. Cable has been connected and we can see that there is some network packets ongoing. We have the TX but no RX so let's be patient. So unfortunately there's something wrong with Dell XFF and I think we need to perform a reboot of the computer. We can see that the one interface is now up and running after I restart the Dell XF app. Let me add the new one interface, which is 1.6. And this is GSCP v6 clients, and the device will be one as well. So save and save and apply. So it looks like everything is ready, and right now we should have a working internet connection. But I'm not sure why it is showing a question mark like this. Is there something wrong? No, there is nothing wrong. Okay, so let me open google.com if we have a working internet connection, which is good. So let's run speedtest.net. All right, we have a working internet connection from the Dell SLF, but the internet speed is still limited from the internet service provider. So we only have around 250 MBPS. However, let's do some more tests in terms of iPerp and open speed test. So the Dell XF app is running the open speed test server at 10.42.0.1 and let me just open that page. So 10.42.0.1 Okay, hit enter and this is the open speed test server. 
Let's start the test. With open speed test, we only have around 3,700 Mbps, and I believe this is something, and I believe this has something to do with my Firefox browsers because with the same setup on Windows with Chrome, I am able to reach around 6,000 Mbps. But never mind, let's try with the iPub. Alright, let me open the terminals and then let's clear this all. So I will establish edit a connection to my Dell XL app, which is the one size. Ventc at 10.42.0.1 and log in. Alright, that is good. Let's run ipub trees dash s and then open another terminals on my PCs. Let's run ipub trees that c 10.42.0.1 hit enter so we can see that the speed test result from my client device through the OpenWRT routers is limited to 6.25 gigabit per second and I have checked actually the limit is from my Dell XF app 7010s and let me show you so if I run sudo lspci.vv and then hit enter so I can see the lean speed for my Melanus Connect X trees and uh, you can see unfortunately the link state is x1 so this has something to do with my network adapter but I can confirm that on my client device if I run the same thing sudo lspci.vv the Melanus Connect X3 will be show up at X4 so this is the same Melanus Connect X3 on my client PC and you can see the Wix is X4 however on the other side the Wix is only X1 so I believe it has something to do with the network adapters and I have in this swap the network adapter from this one to another and it will work in rate so I can confirm that one of my network adapter will 40 alright so just leave it for now so let's open another terminal and establish a connection to my router so it will be root at 192.168.1.1 hit enter and yes so on this OpenWRT router let's run OPKG instance IPUB trees and let's do an IPUB test okay so IPUB trees that s alright and let me run ipub tree that c and then 192.168.1.1 and hit enter Perfect, we have a solid connection of 9.4 gigabit per second, which is a good thing. However, I want to see the CPU uses when we are running the test, so I will surely need another terminal. Edit H root at 192.168.1.1. It enters, let's run top. And yep let's run the ipub test again this one it will be 20 hit enter all right so 
with the default file well configuration, the CPU at 83% idle on a 9.4 gigabit per second routing. Let's run the open speed test one more time with the CPU uses here. So let's refresh the page and let's let's click the start button. So with around 4000 Mbps, download the CPU at 90% idle. It is the same for upload. So for upload, we can see that the CPU actually is at 93% idle. Perfect. Now let's go and enable shortware offloading and see if there any changes. Save and apply. And let's run the test. Let's start. And we can see that the shortware offloading really did a good job. The CPU is at 93% idle. So they actually like no much loss for the CPU as well. And the same for the uploads, we have 97% CPU idle, which is a good thing. Alright, so I think that will be enough. Let's go back to the iPub test. And this time, let's see if we have any CPU uses differences. Still, for the iPub test, we still have 85% idle. This is more or less the same with the previous results. So we can see that showway offloading not did a good job in terms of IPUB test, but it did a good job for open speed test. All right, so this is all about my simple 10 gigabit routing setup with OpenRTX. All right, so what we can do with the 10 gigabit connection, I will say that Right now, even one gigabit internet plan is still an expensive option. So more or less, we are using 10 gigabit for LAN devices. For example, you want to connect your PC to your NAS with a 10 gigabit link in order to accept the file in the fastest way. All right, so let's try a simple setup like this. So these two SAP plus ports, I will configure it at LAN port. So this port will be connected to my PC. This port will be connected to my NAS. And this will be my one port as usual. All right, so let's do it with OpenWRT. All right, so let's go to the OpenWRT routers. And on the device side, we have Ethernet 0, Ethernet 1, and Ethernet 2. So this is the MAC address of my one gigabit network adapters and this is the MAC address of the 10 gigabit network adapter which is Ethernet 1 and Ethernet 2 so let's go to BRLAN right here click configure and the bridge port let's change it to Ethernet 1 and Ethernet 2 and hit save and then save and apply but this is not everything after that, we will need to go to the interfaces tab and go to the one interface, edit it and select it at Ethernet 0. And then do the same for the 1.6. Then hit save and apply. Alright, so we have received an IP address from the DHCP server of the one side, which is 192.168.1.91. And we can see that this subnet is more or less the same with our OpenWRT router. So most likely we will need to change the LAN IP address. So let me put it something like dot five dot one and hit save and then save and apply. Open a new tab and go to 192.168.5.1 and 
the change has been committed. So everything is done. So right now we have our LAN interface, which is the Melanus Connect X3, and it is up and running. And the one port is our RJ45 network connection. I have performed the same test on Windows 10 and the rivals were automatically detected and installed by Windows so the Melanet Connect X3 is up and running without any touching from the rival side. The test result with open speed test is impressive and we have around 5500 Mbps for downloads and around 6000 Mbps for upload. However, the speed test result for iPerf is not as expected and we have the cap of 8.5 gigabit per second. Another thing I want to highlight is that after the restart of the x86 OpenWRT router, the XFP Plus adapters, the Magnetus Connect X3 port is assigned to Ethernet 0 and Ethernet 1 instead of Ethernet 1 and 2 as previously we had configured. So I will need to go and change my BLAN interface as well as my WAN interface. So if you have the same problem, maybe you can try to have a look on your network devices. Alright, so I need to modify the BLAN device and change it back to Ethernet 0 and Ethernet 1 and then on the one interface, I need to change it to Ethernet 2 and everything is back to working status again. I have also performed a power consumption test with my x86 OpenWRT router, the E31230V2 and 60GB of RAM as well as the GTX 650's graphic card on idle status with a Melanus Connect X3 network adapters and a Gigabit Realtex adapter. The power consumption is 31 watt. With iPub test running at 8.5 Gigabit per second, the power consumption increased to 72 watt. And with a 1 2 LAN throughput of 200 Mbps, we have the power consumption at 67 Watt. I try to remove some unnecessary components, for example, the VGA, and right now it's only my CPU, RAM, and the Melanus Connect X3 and the Realtek network adapter. On idle, I have 29 Watt. Of power consumption and with 8.5 gigabit IPUB test the power consumption is only 42 watt and finally with the 1 2 LAN speed test at 240 Mbps the power consumption is 36.7 watt so this will make the end of my test video for OpenWRT 10 GBP at routing Unfortunately, I'm not able to get 9.4 GBPS from the 1 to LAN test. However, this is something to do with my network adapters and I will check with the supplier for replacement one and I will check if I can run the NAT, the open speed test at a full result. So that's all for this video and thanks for your attention. If there are any question or any idea or any tasks I should do with this setup, feel free to leave it in the comment section. Thanks for watching and see you all in the next video. Bye bye.